Begin in a kneeling position at the back of your mat, clearing your mind of anything unrelated to the present moment, finding your breath. Move to all fours, lining yourself up, knees under hips, wrists under shoulders, fingers spread wide, and gripping the mat. On an exhale, pressing the mat away from you as you round out the back, making space between your shoulder blades in cat pose. Then inhale, dip the belly, stretching the abdominals in cow pose. Continue moving through cat-cow, flowing with your breath. Coming to a flat back, extend your left arm out to the side, thread the needle coming to rest on your left shoulder and side of the head. You can hold here or option to extend the right leg up long. Lower the leg if lifted, then press firmly through the right hand back to table. To the other side, extend the right arm and needle. Option to extend the left leg. Lower the leg if lifted, press through the left hand, returning to table. Let's move into tiger pose. Raise the right leg, keeping the knee bent and in line with your hip. Reach your left hand back to grasp the right foot. Lift the right foot up and back, opening up the right hip and left side chest. Releasing with control, let's repeat that on the other side. Raise the left leg. Reach back with the right hand to grasp the foot. 
Stretch the foot back and up, opening up the right side chest, pulling that shoulder back. Release to table. Curl the toes under and extend to downward facing dog. Tailbone up high, pressing through the hands. Step your left foot to the outside of the left hand, then walk it into center between the hands. Lower the back knee, top of the foot, then raise the arms in low lunge. Right hand down, left hand up, let's twist. Lower the left hand and keep the hips elevated as you stretch back to a half split. Come forward and curl the back toes under. Return to that half split, this time sitting all the way back on the heel, folding forward as much as you can. Release forward and make your way back to down dog. Over to the right, step it up to the outside of the right hand, then walk your foot to center between the hands. Lower the back knee, top of the foot, then raise the arms in low lunge. Left hand down, right hand up, twist. Lower the right hand and keep the hips elevated as you stretch back to a half split. Come forward and curl the back toes under. Return to half split, this time sitting all the way back on the heel, folding forward as much as you can. Release forward and press back to down dog. Extend the left leg to three-legged dog. Draw the knee to chest, down center. Press back to three-legged dog. Knee pull down center again. This time stay here and kick the left foot to the right side. It touches down. We rotate the back foot, toes point to the long edge of your mat. Raise the right arm and open up, keeping the hips elevated in fallen triangle pose. You can play with your arm behind you or raise it up high.
Bring your right hand back to the mat, rotate the back foot forward as you pull the left knee back into chest, extend to three-legged dog, and release to down dog. Raise the right leg this time, three-legged dog. Knee pull down center. Extend the leg back up. Pull the knee down center again. Then plant the foot to the left side. Rotate the back foot and open up, raising the left arm in fallen triangle. Lower the left hand to the mat, rotate the back foot forward as you pull the right knee to chest. Extend to three-legged dog and release to down dog, walking out the heels if you like. Shift to plank and hold. Now leaning forward onto the tips of the toes, keep your elbows tucked into your sides as we lower as slowly as possible all the way down to our belly in a chaturanga negative. Raise onto the forearms in Sphinx Pose, getting long through the back and neck, shoulders down and back. Lower, then clasp your hands behind your back, Big inhale and on your exhale, raise the legs and chest to locust. Release, press back to child's pose. to downward facing dog. Pop your feet to the outsides of your hands, lowering the hips in garland. Hands together at your heart, get long through the back and press your legs apart with your arms. To seated, legs extended together. Draw the left foot up and plant it to the outside of your right leg. Right arm sweeps up and presses to the outside of the left leg as your body twists. Focus on sitting up tall and gazing back over the shoulder. Right leg remains engaged, foot flexed.
Release to staff pose, then repeat on the other side. Right foot to the outside of the left leg. Left arm to the outside of the right leg to twist. Sit up tall, gaze back, left foot flexed. Release to staff. Draw the heels up slightly, bending the knees. Lean the body forward, resting your ribs on your thighs. Holding onto the ankles, straighten the legs as much as you can, pulling your body into a forward fold. To seated, draw both feet up, knees bent. Wrap your peace fingers around your big toes on both feet. Raise the heels and find balance. Then extend your legs to boat pose. Keep your spine long, chest lifted, core engaged. Gaze towards your toes as you either continue to hold them or release your arms along the sides of your legs if you prefer. Bend the knees to release and make your way onto your back, arms at your sides. Raise your hips to bridge. Option to stay here or get deeper by drawing the shoulder blades together, clasping your hands beneath you. Release your shoulder blades, lower your hips, and draw the knees in for a rest. Arms to your sides, straighten your legs and let them chill out here in legs up the wall. You can stay here or move into a supported shoulder stand. Again, you can stay where you are or move into plow pose. In plow, you can continue to support your lower back or release your arms down to the mat.
return to legs up the wall if you didn't stay there. Next, lower both legs together, toes pointed. Place your hands palms down beneath your seat on either side, elbows out at an angle. Press through the forearms, lifting the heart up high, allowing the head to drop back to fish pose. Holding a small back bend, the top of the head may lightly touch down for support. Option to keep the legs down or to raise them off the mat together. Lower the legs if lifted, raise the head, shoulders, then lay back down onto the mat, release your hands, then draw your right knee in towards your chest. Left hand guides the right knee over to a twist. Right arm out to the side at shoulder height. Make sure both shoulders remain grounded here. Carefully release. Extend the right leg as you draw the left leg knee to chest. Right hand to left knee to a reclined twist. Release, both legs extended onto the mat. We're going to be resting here in Savasana for about a minute. If you prefer to stay here longer, I suggest you take this time to pause the video. Shift your legs so that they are taking up space on the mat. Allow your feet to rest comfortably, neither pointing nor flexing. Moving up the body, get heavy through your seat as you release tension in your lower back. Arms resting along the sides of the body, again taking up space, palms are open but relaxed and facing up. Feel the rise and fall of your belly with each breath. Feel your heartbeat in your chest as you allow it to melt down to the mat. Relax your shoulders, stay long in the neck, release any tension in your jaw and through your brow. Eyes closed. Just breathe. Coming out of Savasana, begin to play with the feet, flexing and pointing. Move your hands, make fists. Stretch the arms up overhead and lengthen the legs to a morning stretch. Then make your way to seated, hands on your knees or folded in your lap as you take a few more breaths to finish up before coming to standing. 